Hi. This isn't going to be the most professionally made video. There's not going to be any wonderful music in the background or um, slogans or marquees saying da 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 da. But it's an issue that I think that we need to deal with um, in our society. Tons and tons of organizations out there to help people. One of the uh, populations that I was thinking of is homeless vets. I've said it before and I'll say it again. It's a manageable situation. And yet, as a country in the United States of America, we aren't managing it. And so, I just would like to tell you uh, a story about a man who lives not too far from me in the streets who is homeless and was a vet and just trying to get some basic information out of him was very hard um, but in the process of trying to help him mentally, spiritually, with food you find out that when you go to look at the resources that are available, certain things happen. There's waiting list, HUD waiting list. Um, and that the systems don't seem to be doing what they necessarily said they were going to be doing. Very well funded organization says that they will rescue homeless vets. So, instead of actually going out and helping one individual, even if it's still remain in the streets, being on call for one individual, we have a system that seems to be bloated. And then it's up to individuals in society to try to help one individual. Another vet that I know in church yesterday was in a um, great deal of back pain. He's also homeless. And he served in Vietnam. And yet, when it comes time for the system to take care of someone, once they've been used up by that system, a slow and deliberate process to get them help. So, you know, you recommend things, you help people by feeding them. But here I was once again in the church, not feeling the love of the church. And it's not the first time. Obviously, when you're carrying your bags around, your knapsack or those big gym bags, and you're looking tired and weary, and broken down, and maybe not smelling your best, maybe it's time for the church to step in. When I say step in, if you have a few hundred people in church, even a dollar, 50 cents, that's a lot of money to someone who's homeless. Giving someone shelter, and even though this shouldn't be, even in a garage, would be really helping someone out. And yet we can do much better. This second individual was paying rent to someone twelve dollars a night and or a place to stay maybe a room or a bed and yet here he was in pain doctors not providing for him homeless hungry and in church now how does that happen it happens because 
we want to hear a different version of what all the great philosophers said, what the Buddha had said, probably Muhammad, but I know definitely Jesus said, take care of people. And it's not necessarily always money. In America, we, we have 14 trillion pounds of food that go to waste. And so that's this one tiny segment of the horrors that go on. Chicago, 37 to 43,000 houses. And yet, we'll spend money on planes that we don't need and armaments that we don't need. And a cutback military spending, which everybody will have a furor about, is really a decrease in the increase in spending. And even to say those words is kind of funny. But the real thing I'm saying is, we hear these words at church, and this is for Christians, Muslims, Anybody who has heard this message or has feels it in their heart and go out and take care of the poor. So fear comes in. I don't have enough money comes in. I once had an argument with a Christian about how he couldn't do anything in his situation to help anybody else because he was poor. Yet I was in the same situation and helping people out. It's belief. And so we need to, as a country, go back to taking care of people, to just not avoiding people as best we can. If I were to say there was an army of one against a hundred or fifty, Which army do you think would win? Most likely you would say the army of 100. And yet we don't realize our own potential or abilities to help someone. We'll hear it and hear it again and again. We'll say, why doesn't anybody do anything? Well, you may not be able to help everyone, but you see somebody crying in church, or you see somebody hungry in church, do the best you can to help that one. And I really think as far as the vets, veterans situation is concerned, and there might be a program out there that I don't know about, but I really think there should be on-call people who have funding and resources so that they can help any vet that's hungry or needs a place to stay. I really do think there should be a system for veterans very similar to couch surfing, where people would be able to at least shower up and stay on someone's couch and maybe get a good meal for a night. I think there should be a system of zero tolerance when somebody is leaving the military, that nobody shall leave the military and be unhoused. And if we had a society that had a conscience, some of those things would be taking place. I like the on-call idea, and I like the couch surfing idea. Um, for runaway children in the state of Illinois, we have an on-call system where if somebody is home, um, has run away or in the streets, um, they get someone to go out there and talk to this person. And so why not vets? It's a lot of money that society spends on a problem. And I think it's not because we're spending money 
That's not a problem of spending money. Anybody could spend money. But I think the problem becomes when we spend money and spend money and spend money without thinking about simple solutions. And a lot of times it is just hunger or shelter. So I'm asking people just to reopen their eyes and not out of a sense of obligation, but out of a sense of who are you? Who do you say you are to do what you believe in as far as this problem? And once again, I said it wasn't going to be a professional video, and it's not. Just wanted to get that thought out there so at some time, if I pass on, which I will, that some thoughts and ideas and concepts were in the cosmos waiting to be used. Just think, if you know, you're out there homeless, you've gone through war, and now society says to you, you have no value to us. Well, I thank you for your time. I'm clicking off now. As I said, not the most stirring of videos, but I thank you for your time.